this is just too weird. I feel like it's a bad dream. Well, it's a good dream because I'm mowing my, my grass here and it gets better every time. It's getting thicker, fuller, greener. That septic water's doing it. That uh, micro life's doing it. Anyway, so I started in mowing. I start over on the far side and I'm coming closer and closer. And as I'm working this way, I'm like, man, I keep smelling something dead. It doesn't smell like a dead animal. It smells like a dead snake. And that's hard to say because like, I don't really know how to explain it, but it just, it's a different stink. Well, I get to here and look at what I find. A dead snake. And it's hard to see from what's left of him, any sort of real markings, but I'm thinking probably just a little garter snake just based on the size. Well, all right, so that explains the stink, I thought. Then I keep on mowing over here and I was working on moving the bird netting in because I mowed up close on this side then I move it to this side and mow the other side and I find another stinker the real stinker the big tuna and this one oh I'm gonna say buttermilk racer unless it's lost all of its color just due to being dead but it's got the um, lighter pattern it's not dark like a black rat snake it's definitely too big to be a garter snake this one is tangled in the bird netting which is not on so he didn't get electrocuted he just got stuck here for some reason he got stuck and decided he couldn't get out well there you can see i think he's knotted he's pretty knotted right there and he probably just got laid up and stuck and then dried out in the sun or i don't know varmint might have come and, and actually killed him and then that varmint couldn't get him out i don't know he hadn't been there long not too long but pretty well decomposed for the amount of time that he's been there and you can see out here, I mentioned I made the video about the grasshoppers. Well, looky here, we've got ants. The ants are just owning this guy. So if nothing else, the ants are gonna clean him up quick. Um, Cause I'll be honest with you, I don't feel like pulling him out of there. He stinks. I just, ugh. Not scared of him, obviously he's very dead, but that smell, I just don't even want that smell on my hands. So I'm gonna move the fence over with him in it. Maybe I'll go get a glove or something. I just, I don't know, man, touching a dead snake, it's like, it's like having gasoline on your hands. You can go wash your hands five times, that smell's still on there. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of weird. It's almost eerie. Like I said, it's almost like it's a weird dream to find two dead snakes tangled in the mash. That one was tangled in the, in the straw underlayment mash, and this one's tangled in the actual fence. To find two right here at the same time, same day, and these are the first two I've ever found stuck in the fence. Just kind of weird. I don't know. I haven't noticed any sort of heightened snake activity i guess the grass has been getting taller so it would give them reason to to be in this area i guess um i just mowed that last night but i think this guy's more than a day old so i don't think i ran him out of there last night anyway yeah snake stuck in the fence i guess i guess that's what we'll call it oh this is kind of cool so i decided to move him after all because i didn't want my wife to come out here and and then get mad at me and I didn't want the dogs to eat it. But looky here, I accidentally split his guts open to try to pull him out of there. And there's a grasshopper that he ate. The big old grasshoppers have been around here everywhere lately with it being hotter and drier. So I guess he's been munching on some grasshoppers. It's kind of like catching a fish and then finding another fish inside of his mouth or inside of his belly when you gut it. It's nature for you, but it's always kind of funny to see what they ate. <laughs>